Hello and welcome from a very sunny Coventry. We're actually here at the MTC and I'm joined by a good friend and colleague, Giovanni. Gio, what are we going to see here today? Oh, Joe, what an amazing facility. It's just out of this world, fantastic. Now, we've been invited from 3D Scanners to come to this event, a metrology training event. Now, they've got all the latest innovations and technology in metrology, and I can't wait to go inside and find out more. Like you say, it's a fantastic day, an incredible facility. So welcome to Swarf and Chips. What can people expect to see and learn from this event? Okay, well it's our 2019 launch event of the new version of the Polyworks software and a few new things coming out. Uh, we want users to come along and mix with each other from all different types of industry and see all of the new hardware with the vendors that we've got exhibiting along here in our metrology show. And what new innovations from yourselves are going to be showcased here today? Well, we have a new product in the market called Collaborative Suite. Um, it's all about digital connectivity uh, and bringing together all of the different measurement devices in the industry. So Nick, we're going to catch up with you at the end of the day, um, so we're going to go and find out a little bit more. Thanks Nick. No problem, thank you very much. I see so many people here, almost full of the time, so... I do know one thing, it's not a revolution, it's an evolution. So we use measurement programs, fixtures, etc. Uh, we're able to assess dimensional status of parts as well as monitor our manufacturing capability as well. I usually present to sort of audiences like this but also to other academics so we measure ourselves on how many equations we've got and how complex it is. The challenge of this really is just to keep those out and talk about how metrology fits to industry four. This is quite an interesting model uh, and it works and it's, it's really what's been spoken about this morning. Keith, measurement software on a universal platform. Can you describe to me what this means in real terms? Uh, the universal metrology platform just allows uh, companies to be more efficient. Um, multiple users can learn one single software, allow them to use a variety of different hardwares, making things run smoothly, quicker, and saving the company money ultimately. Now, some of the new products that are being launched today um, includes augmented reality. Now, how does this work? Um, at the moment we're utilising Microsoft's HoloLens, um, it's a, a headset unit which gives you a display by your eyes which allows you to kind of project images on top of the real world. So rather than virtual reality which makes up the whole world, we're only augmented the real world by overlaying in, uh, images of your scans, your CAD models, the deviations and so forth. Joe, fantastic talk. Now at Bentley, you know, you must have seen a lot of changes in regards to inspection in metrology. Can you kind of talk me through some of them, please? And, and kind of, can you emphasise, you know, how important it is to you as a company and a business? I think, um, so yeah, it, it has definitely changed over, over, over the last few years. And I think just more of a, an understanding of just how important it is um, and how much, how much time it saves uh, 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 long term, really. Um, because we're trying, to, we're trying to achieve really, really, um, you know, exact and high levels of, of, of quality and, uh, and um, a, a really top level of class for, for our customers. I think um, the, the necessity to, to have that validation of parts as early and understand them as quickly as possible is, is more and more important. Now, what has been the biggest game changer for you at Bentley in regards to, you know, 3D Scanners UK and Polyworks software? I think the, the transition introduction of um, being able to use Polyworks on a, on a CMM. Um, a lot of the work that we've done historically is around CMM work, so whether it's twin arms or bridge machines, um, and it, it's really kind of accelerated our team's understanding of, of, 
of what we can do to add the most value to the business. Um, and I think definitely the introduction of, of that uh, CMM feature uh, in Polyworks has, has just absolutely accelerated our understanding of, of measurement. Now, in regards to this fantastic event here at the MTC, in your opinion, how important are events like this? I think hugely important, really. Um, I think other than just the fact that of, of actually networking, uh, I think it's understanding what the new software um, will allow us to do and improve. Um, I think that, that is something that's potentially been overlooked really uh, in the past, but definitely something that we're, we're, we're showing more of an interest in now is to get to these events, meet the different people that understand what features and, and what, um, what packages are out there that'll, that'll benefit us. Anthony, we're here at your booth, and this is an industry first from Hexagon Metrology. Yes. What is it? This is the new Hexagon laser tracker, the ATS 600. Uh, it's basically a laser tracker, as probably is everyone familiar with, but it's the first direct scanning laser tracker to come to market. As in, it collects scan data, high accuracy scan data, direct from the laser tracker. So without the use of a, a third party handheld scanner, for instance. And, and that presumably creates a point cloud? Yeah, it creates a point cloud direct in whatever application software you're using. Um, uh, one of the special things about this is it's, it's what's called, it's got selective scanning capability. So it means you can just draw a polygon on a, on a screen that's looking directly down the laser tracker. So you can, you can very accurately tell it an area to capture. So the data you collect is just the data you want. So there's very little, if any, cleaning of the data after the event and it goes straight into your application software to you know, perform an inspection report, fit cylinders, create features, whatever it is that you may do. Okay, so uh, the ScanPort is our um, fully automated system for measuring parts up to 300 millimeters in diameter. Uh, the system is the same as the complete range in that we use a, a projected light source to project a fringe pattern onto the part. And we have two cameras that measure the, the interaction of the fringes with the part itself. The, the component on there, I think that's perfect, isn't it? It looks like it's 3D printed or additive manufactured. To do that on the CMM would, would take forever, wouldn't it? Whereas on this, it's you, where well, you tell me it's going to be seconds. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The main difference is with a CMM, you might take 30 minutes over an hour to measure the same sort of part and you're taking a series of, of single points to construct the part. Uh, so with uh, 3D scanning, we can capture hundreds of thousands of points in less than a second and that enables us to quickly build up a 3D point cloud of the part that we can then run an inspection routine on. Alex, you've just scanned a gearbox within seconds using yes. a new T-scan. Um, now, how has this been achieved and how has this technology evolved over the years? So, the T-scan 20, which we're showing today, is evolution of the existing T-scan um, scanners from Zeiss. So, it works with initially a T-track unit. It tracks a, a volume of about um, two meter cubed. Um, of this tracking unit, so by infrared markers. And the actual um, handheld itself has a red line beam, which then captures the 3D data. So the advantage is, is that I can um, not only scan one aspect to another, they don't need to be conjoined or overlapped. So I can quickly capture things like a car or a vehicle very quickly. Um, the advantage of a red line laser is that it can cope with different um, opacities or surfaces or finishes of cars, so you can, I can scan the tires, I can scan the rim, the bonnet, um, they all have different kind of, um, kind of uh, reflective um, uh, properties, but I can scan everything with that without the need for spray necessarily. Now, how important is the software um, that makes this work? Um, so, the great thing is, so it does come with the ISO software, um, but it also integrates seamlessly with Polyworks. So, whatever you're used to with inspections inside of Polyworks, you can bring in the cloud data, the STL data, with the T-Scan inside Polyworks. So anyone who's conversed in Polyworks doesn't have to relearn anything new um, when they're comparing, say for instance, a scan that was conducted with T-Scan with a CAD model that they bought in of the nominal. What new innovations are here today? Uh, innovations today, um, it's good to see firsthand the new career form, um, the, the GOM system, uh, the 29 release of their software, and obviously the Polyworks uh, updates and new releases. Now, we have a World Exclusive here on Swarf and Chips today. Can you tell us about it, please? So, World Exclusive is um, Physical Digital. is um, been accredited to NADCAP for 3D structured light measurement inspection. Uh, we are the first company in the world to receive this accreditation. And what does your company do and what does this mean in real terms? So, Physical Digital is a 3D structured light measurement company. So, we're a bureau services um, offering 3D measurement, inspection, robot, um, 
uh, programming and planning, measurement and planning, uh, reverse engineering design, uh, fixture design ac across multiple sectors, not just uh, aerospace. So it could be automotive, power generation. Um, but this new accreditation is going to slant us more towards the aerospace industry. Now, we're here at the NTC for Polyworks. Now, we're looking at some of the latest technologies and some of the latest technologies are the softwares that, that are being used on the CMMs. What's it all about? So Polyworks itself runs on our LK CMMs. So on our controllers seamlessly, um, we've given them access so they can run as the same as our normal software would. Um, with the laser scanners as well, it's all seamless. So this is just running a laser scanner today, but you can put a touch probe on there as well, combine the two with racks and have sort of all of that into one measurement program. Is this kind of just standardising the way in which you can use your equipment? Yes, yeah, exactly that. So you have your CMM programme, your ARM programme, your tracker programme, but they're all one programme. Um, so in the case of a CMM with go-tos and things like that, if you move that to another bit of kit, it just gets greyed out. Um, so you get one programme for everything, but it's now bringing in the CMM side of it. So is this also simplifying the way in which components are being measured in a way? So you're becoming a specialist in one kind of arena rather than having to learn lots of different measurement programmes? Yeah, exactly that. You think previously different softwares on different machines, so your CMM would have one software, different softwares on everything else. You now have one platform for the whole thing. Your whole metrology lab can run off this Polyworks. So efficiency? Yeah, definitely. It's massive sort of efficiency increase from your staff, from your equipment, from all of it. You've got to have a reason for doing this. And if you can't articulate that in simple terms, it's probably not the right reason. So if you know you need to be able to share data with your supplier because you want to protect your customer by doing this, that's a perfectly good reason. If you want to climb on 4 I4 because everyone else is doing it, that's the wrong reason. You've got to have a purpose, and purpose needs structure, and metrology does supply that structure. I don't think it supplies all the answers, but it goes a long way to getting us going properly, I think. Now, what's so unique about your products? Well, uh, our products are ranging. We've got an arm here today. It's not uh, one, only the, one of the only ones we do, but one of the unique things that we have is a seven meter arm, uh, something that no one else does, which uh, usually in that sort of range, you're going towards a laser tracker. We're looking more towards an actual arm, and it gives you a lot of tangible benefits in terms of accuracy and, and portability as well. So that's really the unique thing about the arms as such. Obviously, we use Polyworks, which is pretty generic, in, especially for, the, for this, uh, this, this environment. Um, but the armors themselves, fairly ununique in many ways. Um, but the fact that we've got a seven meter one is, uh, is unique. So Steve, your business is all about automation and industry 4.0 as well. Can, can you fill us in a bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so basically what we do is we supply inline measurement systems, traditionally for automotive and aerospace. So as you've seen over the years, there's a lot of demand now to measure things in process because obviously in automotive terms, if you measure a car at the end of the process and there's something wrong and you've got 500 vehicles in the, in the production process that need rectifying, that cost is immense. Keith, what new technologies have you been exhibiting today at this fantastic event? We've had uh, some good coverage with our new patented 8-axis rotary tables, which are an accessory which complement our uh, new range of quantum faro arms. Uh, so it just helps our users to um, measure more efficiently, uh, reduce their um, down, reduce their time on the on the actual measurement processes, and uh, improve efficiency overall. Uh, on top of that, we've also had our uh, six uh, degree of freedom uh, tracker measurement probe, which is the six probe for our large volume systems. Uh, so we've had some good coverage with that today as well at the show. And has the footfall been good? Have you had much inquiries, many inquiries? Yeah, footfall generally. Uh, we've been to this event now supporting Polyworks and 3D Scanner since, uh, since its inception. And uh, this is the largest turnout we've seen at this place. So, um, you know, well over... Uh, probably 200 people that we've um, you know, seen around, new customers and potential, you know, uh, potential customers for the future as well for us. So. In regards to Polyworks and the launch of their 2019 software, what do you make of this and how does it lend itself to your products? 
We have a lot of um, uh, customers from the OEMs to the uh, to the supply chain, uh, well down to the suppliers, tier ones, tier twos that are already using the uh, Polyworks software. It just helps harmonise all of the data and the the, you know, the, the, the main sort of drive of, of, of uh, data exchange between one another. Um, so it, it, it helps and our, our data capturing devices and 3D imaging and uh, realisation technology lends itself well into something like Polyworks which can then uh, distribute that information around the uh, you know the supply chain and to the customer base. What product are you exhibiting here today and what's so unique about this product? Uh, we are exhibiting the uh, Cyber Gauge 360. Uh, the biggest advantage with this product, number one, is the accuracy. So it's seven microns volumetric on a 200 by 100 millimeter volume and the advantage in being able to scan the part underneath and on the top. So we don't have to turn the part over, thus keeping accuracy. So these are the two biggest advantages with this and it's automated with the Polyworks software. So in regards to the Polyworks software, how has that enhanced the product and how does that work? So basically you would have one skilled operator that would understand the Polyworks software, they would load a part in, they would do the scan, they would then do the an, a, analysis of, the, of the, the CAD model, the, the colour map, the section cutting, all the information that you required from the part. Then once they committed that to a programme, you could have any operator then loading the part into the system and pressing play. So it's as simple as, as just loading the part and pressing the play button. What the software will then do, that will then do a scan, it will replace the existing scan and it will give you a full report at the end. So the idea of this is you only have one skilled operator in the company, you have 50 of these machines and you just have operators that are loading parts on a, on a sort of you know, hourly basis, half an hour depending on the part. So that, that, that's the biggest advantage is the automation side of it as well. And Marie, in our industry where we're so he heavily involved in manufacturing, we presume that all the metrology equipment is used predominantly for this. However, you have a different application for it. Can you explain? Um, yeah, I'm a consultant for 3D laser scanning and cultural heritage and related applications. And what we use it for is um, documenting our cultural heritage in three dimensions um, so that we can analyse it, document it, archive it. Um, repair it, conserve it uh, and use it in new ways so create interactives for museums or create new works of art. The list is endless really, it's just as big as your imagination. Mario you've travelled from Williams F1 to visit this fantastic event but what in particular has drawn you to this event? What have you come to look at? I've come to look at what 2019 brings to Polyworks and how we can introduce that into our, our workplace and see if it improves our inspection. So have you been using Polyworks software for a long time now? Uh, it's been just over uh, six months, nearly a year, yeah. And how, how do you find it? So far so good, really it, it appeals to everything. It's quick, it's really uh, flexible in terms of what macros you can use and sequences, all sorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick, it's the end of the day, it's been a fantastic day, but what has happened to your head? Yes, um, I've been rubbed into doing a head shave along with one of my colleagues, Marius, uh, for a local charity called Zoe's Place, um, and all the exhibitors and a few other people I think have donated today for to have a good shave in my head. Um, so thank you to all of everybody that uh, put some money in the pot. And if anyone wants to uh, donate, we'll put a link below. Now, it's been a real eye-opening day for me. The footfall has been astonishing and the quality of the footfall has also been yeah. uh, overwhelming for me. It's the technology that's been on display has been fantastic. What have the highlights been for you? There's so many. We've had uh, all the metrology vendors in the industry here today. I think we've had about 240 people come through. Um, it's been that crazy. I haven't even had a chance to say hello to everybody. Um, but hopefully, you know, we'll go bigger and better next year. Thanks, Nick. So okay. don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as Lindsay always says, keep them spindles turning. Where is Lindsay? <laughs>